Edward Weston loves the game of rugby, but playing his favorite sport over the years has led to injuries. So I injured my shoulders uh, playing rugby, actually, um, and I, I dislocated them multiple times. Mr. Weston had a condition called recurrent dislocation of the shoulder. He had surgery on his left shoulder before, but it failed. He was reluctant to try again, but then he met Health City's senior consultant orthopedic surgeon and head of orthopedics, Dr. Alwan Almeida, at a press conference in 2017 for Health City Cayman Islands to announce the hospital's sponsorship of the big game, an annual Cayman rugby event. He actually goes to the same church as me, and uh, so I explained about my injuries. I've dislocated my shoulders multiple times over the last uh, few years. And he said, uh, whenever I have a break in, in my playing, just to uh, get a hold of him and come down to Health City and get him checked out and uh, see what we can do. Edward's a special guy. He, uh, uh, he was one of my most challenging cases so far. 90% of the body's dislocations happen in the shoulders since it's the most unstable joint in the body. And once the shoulder is dislocated, there's a 40 to 50% chance that the shoulder can dislocate again, which is what happened in the case of Mr. Weston. It got to a point where it would dislocate even in his sleep. And he at one point told me that it had dislocated probably more than 100 times, which is a lot. After going over his records, Dr. Alwyn decided on the best procedure to help treat Mr. Weston's condition. The problem with him was really the bone loss. His glenoid was, his socket was so small and add to that the added bone loss that he had, it made it even smaller so he had a very unstable shoulder. So I had to decide to do what is known as an arthroscopic latarge procedure. Arthroscopic latarge is a difficult surgery and only a few surgeons in the world have the training to do this technique. In these kind of procedures, what we do is we take the, the coracoid process with the attached tendons to it and we transfer this, we, we saw it off and we transfer this coracoid to the glenoid base here because this glenoid socket has lost bone in the front here and we put this at that and that gives uh, you know, the stability and makes up for the bone loss and it gives added stability from the ligaments and the tendons attached to it. Health City Cayman Islands is one of the first centers in the Caribbean to perform this procedure and this particular technique is not currently available in the United States. The technique that we used, uh, which was a special technique that was described by Dr. Pascal Boileau, is, uh, has, is probably uh, the, the first time, it hasn't been done in the U.S. That particular implant with the double button technique is not available in the U.S. yet. After his surgery in March 2018, Mr. Weston is on the road to recovery and he hasn't ruled out playing rugby again in the future. That's the plan right now, like right now I still want to get back on the field. But uh, I guess I have to assess after that year of recovery and uh, like make sure I'm, I'm ready for it, first of all. And after his experience at Health City Cayman Islands, he said he would definitely recommend the hospital to his rugby teammates. I've mentioned it to a few people already, and I know other rugby players that have already had um, procedures done there and with good results, so yeah, definitely.